Question number 45 involves remembering conservation of energy and elastic collisions and the fact that during the elastic collisions, kinetic energy is conserved and also speed of separation equals speed of approach. In both cases, you would be subtracting the two vectors to figure out the approach velocity and the separation velocity. Both of these balls fall from 1.2 meters. Then you can say mv squared over 2 equals mgh. That would be through conservation of energy. And then another formula that we could do v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2 g change in y, which ultimately is the same as if I took the conservation of energy and rearranged whichever way you solve it. Now through conservation of energy, or through kinematics, we will find our v final to be the root of 1.2 times 19.6. That gives us 4.85 meters per second. They tell us that basketball rebounds without any loss of energy. So with an elastic collision, approach is happening at the speed of 9.7 meters per second, the velocity or speed with which the two balls are approaching each other. Then, after they collide, they collide elastically. So we need to figure out to what height does the tennis ball rebound. In order for me to figure out the height, I could do mv final squared over 2 equal mgh. This h is what I'm after, masses would cancel, so h would be just the v final squared over 2g. Now the question is how am I going to find the v final squared? I'm going to employ two things, conservation of momentum, so that's conservation of momentum, and then elastic collision rule. Their approach velocity was 9.7, and now it will be, since 9.7 is my positive number, I'm going to say that upward velocity, which belongs to the little m final, I'm subtracting the velocity of the big m, which is the basketball final, because that would be down. So positive minus negative gives me a positive number. All right, so that is now my system of equations. Ultimately, after the little m's final velocity, this is what I'm going to be solving for. So I'm going to substitute the velocity of the big mass. If I rearrange this, I'm going to put that to the left and 9.7 to the right. So the velocity of the big ball, the final velocity of the basketball is going to be the velocity of the tennis ball minus 9.7. And then I'm going to grab this and replace the velocity of the big ball with that. And that way, I will only have the velocity of the tennis ball left. Now I'm going to consolidate what I got. It's going to be negative 57 times 485. This will go to the left with a plus. So plus 590 times 485 plus 9.7. All of that divided by 57 plus 590 would be equal to my Vm final. I got 12.8 meters per second. That's the rebound velocity of our tennis ball. Then the height is going to be that 12.8 squared over 19.6, which is 8.4 meters.